This is Dan. Thought I'd just do a quick review of a new tool I have. This is the OMIO CNC 6040 type Chinese mill. Uh, as you can see here, I am milling out some uh, plastic. I'm making a uh, part that kind of looks like this. It's all in white, so you won't be able to see it too well. And uh, this took two different setups. So I ordered this mill directly from OMIO CNC. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's a 6040 type mill. It is uh, actually directly supported by the manufacturer. So I pay a little bit more money for this in hopes that uh, I can get some support if I have some problems. This mill is supposed to be uh, have a use stronger, thicker aluminum and have uh, quite a bit more features over your standard 6040 mill that you see on Amazon or eBay. This mill has a uh, 1500 watt motor. It's a 40 volt motor and has a ER16 collet. So it's a little bit beefier machine than the inexpensive 6040s on eBay. As you can see, the unit is water cooled. I have a CW3000 chiller and you can see that it's running at 27 degrees C. It's actually not a cooler or a chiller. Uh, a lot of places advertise it as a chiller. Uh, it's basically just a radiator and fan. Holds a gallon or so of water. I'm using distilled water. I ordered the X6 1500GT mill uh, directly from the manufacturer as I mentioned earlier and it arrived in probably just under a week or about a week I should say. So pretty quick delivery. See that I made these little uh, plexiglass guards to uh, kind of keep down the mess that the machine will make. Uh, bought the plexiglass at Home Depot and these little aluminum frames at Home Depot also. It took an hour or so to put it together. It does reduce my travel by a little about maybe a little over, a little under an inch, but uh, I'm good with that so far. The package came with the controller, came with a Z direction uh, finder, little puck down here, does work. Um, I haven't been using it though. Also came with a inexpensive uh, pendant to uh, manually control the machine. I'm running a old, maybe eight year old laptop running Windows 7 64 bit and as you can see this is Mach 3 uh, software. Uh, I read some reviews that Mach 3 will not run on a 64 bit machine. I'm not having any problems uh, running, running at all. I've been using uh, Autodesk uh, Fusion 360 for the CAD and also for uh, the toolpath generation. I need to state that I'm a novice uh, machinist, but uh, within the course of a couple of weeks, I'm actually making real parts. I'll show the back of this setup. This is what the back of the uh, cooler looks like. And uh, back of the controller. All the cord management looks pretty good. The machine's actually pretty darn solid. I haven't tried machining any aluminum yet, but uh, I will here probably within a week. Uh, so I'm running Windows 7. I actually tried Windows 10 and Windows 10 did uh, seem to work. But I downgraded to Windows 7 
because uh, I bought another tool at the same time as this mill. It's this box over here, which is a uh, 60 watt Chinese laser. And I've been playing with it and it's been working uh, just fine, uh, except for Corel Laser, their included software tool. Uh, I could not get to run on Windows 10. Maybe I'll do a quick video of that machine uh, at a later date. Anyways, that is what the machine looks like and it's uh, operating. I might give a few more details if a few people ask me. That's about it so far. A thumbs up.